Hey everyone, Dan with Mac Rumors, and in this video we're going to check out what's new in the latest Final Cut Pro 10.4 update. Final Cut Pro 10.4 is one of the more larger updates since the UI redesign that took place in 10.3. In 10.4, we have the inclusion of a few major features, like the ability to edit 360 degree video, HDR workflows, and advanced color grading tools built right into Final Cut. Being able to edit and export 360 degree video is great for those who, well, need to edit 360 degree video professionally, as well as those who might have a 360 degree camera, like the Samsung Gear 360 for example, and want a better way to slice up their footage and create a better video. With this update, you can also link a VR headset and be able to adjust your viewers to see exactly what a person wearing the 360 headset will see, and explore all aspects of your 360 degree clips while editing. There are tools and effects preloaded specifically for 360 degree video as well. HDR workflows allows for editing of high dynamic range video projects and also allows for projects to be customized in the wide gamut Rec 2020, Rec 2020 PQ, and HLG color space, which will allow for your scopes to monitor luminance at a much higher level over the standard Rec 709 color space. Finally, another major feature of 10.4 and one that Final Cut Pro users will probably be using the most is the built-in advanced color grading tools. In the new update, Apple introduces color wheels, color curves, hue saturation curves to go along with the traditional color board. These tools drastically improve Final Cut Pro's color grading workflow, and for me, personally remove the need for third-party plugins when color grading. Final Cut Pro 10.4 also supports camera LUTs and creative LUTs natively, and no longer have to use third-party plugins. These new color grading tools have significantly improved my workflow, and have allowed me to color grade faster. Third-party tools have bogged down my machine, but using Apple's built-in tools have definitely helped fix that issue in Final Cut Pro 10.4. There are loads of minor updates and tweaks, making this update a much more significant step in the right direction for Apple's Pro Video editing application. So what do you think of the new Final Cut Pro update? Let us know in the comments section down below. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.